in this example, we're going to um, use scientific notation. Now, scientific notation is an or it's a way of rewriting an answer, a big number or a very small decimal. So, if I were to have first, we're going to go from scientific to standard form. Standard form is how we usually have the number, very big or very small. Scientific is how we rewrite it, so it's shorter, easier way to rewrite. So, for example, a I have a times ten to the seven is always base 10 for scientific notation. You want to have the multiplication symbol and the exponent. Now, what does the exponent mean? The exponent means how many spaces of zeros you're going to add into the number. Now, you want to always consider, I have the number A right there. What is my decimal? Your decimal is always in the end. If you don't see it, it's always in the end. So right here, I have A point right there, right? When the exponent is positive, that means you're going to the right. So from this decimal, you're going to count seven times to the right. That tells you the number of zeros you're going to add. As you're going to see in example B, and I'll let you know what happens when the exponent is negative. So in this case, I have eight. I'm going to have add seven zeros. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? That means I'm going to put a zero right here, 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 here. Okay? So if we rewrite that number, right? So you went from scientific to standard form. Scientific to standard form. Whenever the exponent is positive, you go to the right. The exponent tells you the number of spaces, zeros you're going to add, right? Let's see when is negative. Right here you have 7.86 times 10 raised to the negative 4. Okay, when the exponent is negative, that means you're going to go to the left. The 4 tells you the number of spaces of zeros you're going to move. If you notice here, you do see the decimal, right? You see it. So what does that mean? I'm going to move four times to the left from here. So I go one, two, three, four. In every space, you're going to add a zero. Now you see how one of the x spaces is the seven. You're not going to add a zero there. You're going to add a zero where there's empty. So that would be one here, two, and three. Let's rewrite. Zero point one. These numbers, you have to bring them down. They're part of your answer. I add the zero, just you don't need the zero. You can, add, you can say zero point, or you can say point zero zero seven a six. Your choice. It looks better when it has a zero on the front, though. Okay? So, recap. When the exponent is positive, we move to the right. When the exponent is negative, we move to the left. If you don't know... See, if you don't see the decimal, it's always in the end. Okay? So those are your two answers. This right here. And this right here.